Well, hello. My name is Isel. And I'm just your average turkey living in the city amongst the hustle and bustle with my sister Chico and all her goat friends. And several other birds and mammals here at the Broken Shovels Animal Farm Sanctuary. As you can see, I'm an incredibly fashionable and independent lady. I know what I want out of life, and living here at the sanctuary provides me the kind of freedom I need to be myself and to be happy. As you prepare for the upcoming holiday feasts, I would like to show you a day in my life and introduce you to some of my other friends here at the sanctuary. Izelle is really strutting her stuff this morning. This is my friend Andrea. She takes care of us. If you know any birds in your life, whether it be parrots or chickens or um, even just the wild birds that you might feed in your backyard, we know that these animals are super intelligent. One of the things that I love about turkeys is they have this incredible ability to recognize and remember different faces and not just faces of turkeys. I think that speaks to the emotional depth of turkeys and how important familiar faces are to them. They form strong bonds and they love to be with their familiar friends. Uh, speaking of friends, there are so many of us that are thankful to be here at Broken Shovels. There is Love and Whirly, who are happily married and only enjoy the company of each other. Gandalf and all of the beautiful water buffaloes. Ducks, cows, dogs, and so many birds and mammals. You can say we are one big happy family. And we have a lot of love for the dedicated staff and volunteers. Uh, the mission of the sanctuary is to be a home for animals who become victims of abuse, neglect, hoarding, slaughter, and then on the second part of that is that we create a safe space for humans to come and have meaningful interactions with those animals. So, Andrea, what are some challenges we have here at the sanctuary? Anytime you're taking care of large animals, the challenges are plentiful. <laughs> the big one is, you know, we're working outdoors all the time, so we're very, very weather dependent. We get everything from drought to blizzard to flood, and that is uh, where a lot of the challenge is. Uh, the second challenge is the overwhelming need for rescue, and, and not a lot of people consider that farm animals need rescue, just like dogs, cats, and any other animal that can be um, domesticated and not well taken care of. So we fill a, a vast role um, for the state of Colorado in being a quarantine space and a home and foster home for farm animals of all different kinds. Um, every year we turn down about 3,000 animals that are offered for surrender just because we are limited by space and budget. And of course budget is the third biggest part. We're a nonprofit, so we're constantly fundraising. We are very affected by the uh, upturns and downturns of the economy. I would love to hear about our human friends. In order to run this facility, we have three full-time on-site um, staff members who care for the animals 24-7. And then we have about 50 volunteers who are here on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. How can people help our mission? We are always in need of financial support. We have, uh, through our website, we have ways that you can sponsor specific animals. Um, you can buy us hay, buy us a bag of feed. Um, you can just donate a general amount to our general fund and then it makes its way into whatever our, our biggest needs are. Well, Andrea, I'm incredibly grateful for you and all the work you do. What are you most grateful for? You know, without all of this community, this, this sort of widespread, far-reaching group of people who support us, none of these animals could be here. The great thing about me getting to be an advocate is the, the bigger picture is that I let these animals advocate for themselves. Animals don't keep it a secret when they're unhappy or when they're happy. Um, you know, getting to see a duck splashing around in a pond 
um, getting to see a chicken rolling around in dust bathing and, and doing what they would do naturally, um, getting to see goats laying with the best friends that they've had forever. The feeling of gratitude is palpable. Of all these 500 animals here, very few of them had a future where they were going to be allowed to reach adulthood. And here we are, many of them now into their golden years, um, still thriving, still enjoying everything that they get to do. Well, I truly hope you enjoyed our time together and learned a few things about turkeys that may have surprised you. We are truly wonderful creatures. Broken Shovels Farm Sanctuary is where people of all ages can come make a meaningful connection with us animals after hearing our stories. We hope to meet you in person at any of our upcoming events. Izel, signing off. Stay elevated by subscribing to the city's YouTube page and stay tuned to our social media channels for more content. Don't miss our new episodes of Elevating Denver, premiering each month. Thanks for watching, Denver.